So today we are going to play with the new Norvina Volume 2 palette. So excited about this. I am so lucky Beautylish sent this my way. Thank you so, 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 so much to Beautylish. You've probably already seen what this look looks like in the beginning of the video and the thumbnail. But anyway, we are going to jump into this. We are going to play with this. We're going to put it on my eyes. We're going to swatch it, talk all about it. I'm excited. I hope you guys are too. All right, let's do this. All right, so first and foremost, I know I look so stinking tan. I used a new tan from Isle of Paradise. I had used it once on my legs and it lasted really well, but I didn't keep it on for the full amount of time. But this time, um, my best friend just got married. So I panned for the wedding because I am so fair that with my blonde hair, I just kind of look like a ghost. So I decided to tan a little bit, but then it's a six hour tan. So I went to sleep with it on and I have become very, very tan. This is two showers, still very tan. So we're just going with it. Did my best to match it. What I did to match it was I just used my Conceal and Define in F2, which has been my shade lately because I did get a little, a baby tan to my natural skin. I just used C10 in the Conceal and Define concealer. Um, it's just been my go-to. It has a really nice tone, but we're just, we're working with it. We're doing our best, doing our best. So that's what's up. All right, the rest of what's on my face, because I know you guys are going to ask. I know you're not going to be shocked at all. Um, we have the Iconic Lights and Contour Pro from Revolution. I need a new one. I really just need to find my other uh, Ultra Contour kit, because I love that guy probably even more than this guy. Um, but I just love a Revolution Contour. They are my favorite. And then I just have Ravish, the Lumi Blush from Shop Masse. This guy's a dollar. I love it. It's got a nice glow. And then the highlighter I have on is mostly this little powder lighter in Nebula. It's a new one I picked up. It is very gold. So when I am fair, it's not going to work for me, but it definitely works when I am tanned. I did top it with a tiny bit of a white highlight just to make it a little brighter because, you know, it looked very gold on my skin even with this tan. And I normally go for more of like a white or champagne highlight. I probably should have left it just to have something different for once in my life. But, you know, <laughs> I added just the tiniest bit of this white highlight from the Emojination and Revolution. I like to the moon palette. I think this is what the palette looks like. I'll try and link everywhere that's available down below for you guys. Such pretty packaging. There is a mirror. See? Oh, and it sits up like this. It's like there's a lot of really bright shades in there. It's definitely gonna push me, but of course the ones I'm eyeing are like orange right here. Yellow and like this burgundy is like what's calling to me today. So we might do that. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm just gonna start putting stuff in my face. Sound good? Sounds good to me. Heard these are super, super, super pigmented. I think I wanna start with this yellow right here. I don't know, we'll see what'll happen. I might be going with the greens. Now I'm really excited about those. I think I wanna add a little bit of this like greeny yellow, this guy up here. I'm gonna take those same two shades and mix them and put them on the lower lash line. I think we're gonna go a little green. I was gonna do super fall with like yellow and orange and stuff, but I did just do a fall tutorial. So let's do a green one, why not? Let's give it a go. I think I'm gonna go in next with this guy right here. And I'm just gonna pop that in here. Whoa, yes, girl. I'm gonna try and like wing it out a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna take that green on the lower lash line as well and just keep it right out here. Okay, I think I'm gonna do a cut crease because it's what I've been feeling lately. I never really do like a super hard cut crease. So I'm just gonna use Illustrate from Revolution Cut Crease Canvas as always a fave. Okay, so that's roughly on there. Now I'm just gonna top it. I think we're gonna start. Okay, so now we're gonna use A3, this like shimmery, limey shade and see how that goes. And then we might top it with something else. I'm just gonna use my fingertip. Ooh, ooh, she's pretty. And just tap that on. Green on green on green. Obviously I need to blend and stuff, but wow. I'm gonna go back in and use this little brush. It's kind of stained, but I'm just going to take uh, B1, the darker of the bright greens, if that makes sense at all. And I'm just gonna, Pop this off and just kind of kind of carve out that line so there's a little bit more definition 
I'm gonna put the tiniest bit of this glitterly obsessed by ColourPop. This is in Puffin. Of course, this is not eye safe, so don't do this unless you are confident. <laughs> In this, I have worn this on my eye multiple times and I've never had an issue. Some people have, so please be very, very careful. I know I probably shouldn't be doing this, but I really just want, I just, I want to. I want to add the tiniest bit. I even like tapped it off on the back of my hand. I'm just going to tap it on that lid. There we go. Just a little bit. You definitely don't need this step. It's just something I felt like doing. I guess I could show you guys what this actually looks like. Please don't get mad at me for using that because I know someone will. <laughs> I'm warning you, don't do it. Don't do it unless you crazy like I am. I'm gonna say if I wanna do anything else to it. I think I just wanna put on a wing and some lashes and then do an inner corner highlight. I'm gonna pop on a wing. I'm just gonna use my Physician's Formula Eye Booster Pen in Ultra Black. Now I'm just gonna take the tiniest bit of this Ulta liner in Onyx, and I'm just going to put it down here just to connect the wing to the lower lash line. It's just what I like. And I'm just gonna blend it a tiny bit. We're just gonna use these Kiss lashes in the blowout style, and this is in Pompadour. I'm gonna go ahead and put on some mascara and those lashes, and I'll be right back. All right, loves, so this is what we are looking at. I just need to do an inner corner highlight and a lip. Let's do the inner corner highlight. I'm gonna be boring. I'm gonna use the white here again, just cause it's so perfect for an inner corner highlight personally. All right, guys, I think I'm gonna be boring. Be boring and use this combination, which I've definitely used. These two I've used a million times, but with this, I've used this before too. This is the Steve Laurent Lip Pencil in Chic. And then we're gonna use Chauffeur from Revolution and chocolate chip cookie dough from I Heart Revolution. Now I probably will lighten it just a little bit, not as much as I normally do because I do have this tan going on. Tiny bit of concealer, because I know I'm weird, I know I'm weird. And then I'm just gonna top it with a little bit of the I Heart Revolution Chocolate Chip Cookie Dough Gloss, the best. All right, love, so this is the completed look. I hope you guys like this. If you wanna see swatches, you're in the right place, stick around. Um, we will go through and swatch everything, but if you were only interested in the tutorial, I guess you can peace out now, but it'd be cool if you stuck around till the end, uh, cause there's always bloops. Let's get into the swatches. Um, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna swatch it. We're just gonna do row by row from the top row down. My poorly <laughs> self-tanned hands. Sorry guys. Ooh, girl. Okay, so that's a one, two, three, four, and then I'll swatch five in just a second. Oh my goodness. A4 is so pretty. I feel like the swatch is not gonna do it justice. Maybe you can kind of see the duochrome on there. My pinky, like look how it's totally green and then purple. Oh, it's so pretty. All right, so there are swatches of the top row. Uh, it's, I feel like it's just like not really doing it justice. It actually is a really beautiful row. A couple of them feel a little more muted than they look in the palette. Um, you can obviously see the lime shades and how they're working on my eye. I did have to kind of build them up. Not If I can get the end of the result, I'm happy. These shimmers though feel absolutely beautiful. All right, let's do the second row. But here are the first four in the second row. So be one, two, three, Four. The stars on the show on this palette really are the blues and the greens. All right, so right there, that is the second row. Those are really pigmented. I think those really show more so than the other ones have pigmented there. I really like this turquoise on the end. It slightly reminds me of Electric Eel from MAC, which was like one of my very first shadows ever. So anytime I see a shade that's like it, it just throws me back. All right, so there are the first two rows. Look at C1. Oh my gosh, I should have used this in my inner corner. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh my, oh my goodness, that would make a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful highlight too. C4 is so beautiful. If it translates to the eye, that actual color, I will be stoked. I feel like that's one of the colors that I absolutely always love, but never really translates to the eye correctly. I mean, I'm sure I could use a base and I might need to, but I just love that kind of dirty turquoise, if that makes sense. That dark blue, oh my goodness. What is that, C3? crazy. I'm gonna do a double swatch of C4 just so you guys know I did go in a second time to get it to be that pigmented. This matte burgundy, oh so good. All right so there is row three, so C1 through C5. My fingertips are stained, girl. Ooh girl, look at this. 
This is D1. Wow. Mermaid Central. Beautiful. Oh my. Wow. Wow. We should put that on the lid. Oh my goodness. And then the three super neon ones are in that row. And then the last one's going to be a navy. It's a navy blue, but it kind of pulls purple on my viewfinder. All right. So here are rows three and four. Definitely the standout ones are these two right here. So C1, which is the goldy one, and then D1. So pretty, but those neon shades are really beautiful. And this blue is so pigmented. All right, let's move on to the last row. Duochrome, goldy, green, and pink. Oh, I hope it's going to translate for you guys because it's insane. Look how beautiful that is. So here is the last row. They are mostly mattes with just that one shimmer, but that shimmer is insane. And these two deepest shades, the dark brown and the dark black, are really pigmented. I think they're going to be really great staples to have in this palette. All right, so that's the last row. All right, love, so those are all of the swatches of the palette. I feel like this palette is so pretty, and it definitely pushes me outside of my comfort zone. If I were to look at all three of the palettes, the one that talks speaks to me I guess the one that speaks to me the most is volume three but of course I only have volume two here with me it's beautiful the pigment is there I do feel like they blend slightly differently than some of the standard Anastasia palettes I think the last one I got was an Norvina palette I think Norvina like the Norvina like the OG Norvina palette and the purple that one um I think is the last Anastasia palette that I was able to to get. So I haven't really tried any of the newer ones. So I'm not sure how it compares to those, but I do have all of the ones before Norina and before if that makes sense. Um, so I do feel like these pressed pigments are a little bit different, but the result is pigmented and beautiful. So I'm really excited to play with these. I'm really excited to play with the duochromes. So gorgeous. The duochromes in here are so unique. Like I feel like it's not something that you see very often. Well, the only brand that I can think of that has had pigments that are kind of close to A4 and E2 and maybe even um, D1 uh, like were loose pigments and from Inglot is the only thing I can think of that I've seen anything somewhat close to that but I definitely this is beautiful if you're thinking about getting it why not why not if you, there's definitely some neutral staples but it is bold it is bold all right loves that is everything I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and swatch party uh let me know what kind of look you want to see next and what kind of videos you want to see next let me know of course if you prefer makeup content fashion content what you're looking for what you want um I've got so many good things all over the board coming for you I'm very excited about the videos I have to film this week and next week I love you guys so much thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you have not already we upload videos every Monday Wednesday Friday and more and be sure to hit that notification bell so you don't miss my uploads all right I love you guys I will talk to you soon bye hey love so today we're gonna play with the <laughs> like why am I so tan what doing I boost your pen excuse me I'm just gonna <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, hiccups. What is happening? I'm gonna go ahead and pot on bit bit pot them. What were you gonna do? Ah! Knocking stuff on the floor. This is a Steve Laurent chic lippy pen lippy pencil color pop for life. And let's see what ridiculous stuff I can accidentally do or say in the next few moments. Alright. Always losing everything. <laughs> Excuse me. And then the three super ne neon <laughs> what? Ugh. I hope that it's going to try. Girl, get it together. All right, love. So I think that's everything. I hope you. What? Well,